Greetings, I would like to introduce you to a couple tools that I use to do text to voice. And what kind of got me started on this was I found a Windows Server 2012 ebook uh, on PDF from Microsoft Press, and uh, they were giving it away. And I was going through, and there's a section about the cloud and some really neat philosophies and stories and things like that that they're nice to absorb, but I tend to want to dive into the technical side of things. Well, I was digging around and I noticed that Adobe PDF Reader can actually read aloud. And so I fired up that document and went to view, read aloud, and... Connecting to domain controllers running Windows 2000, active and voila, directory... You know, in, in the case of, of the Macintosh, you have Siri's older brother. In the case of Windows, it's it's a female voice. You have, I like guess, Siri's aunt. Um, and it, it was neat because instead of listening to you know, Pandora or whatever else I might have been listening to, I have the book reading to me. And you can go through hundreds of pages of content in a day and, and just listen to it and then make mental notes and you know go back and read certain features that might require more attention. And... It's a cool way to to get some of that content that I would normally just skip read to me, and then I can get some value add. So, so the the next phase to this was I've I've been getting in the habit of purchasing my IT books in PDF. There's a website, you know, Inform IT. I think Pearson may own them. Uh, sometimes they have really good deals on PDFs, and so I bought some of those PDFs and historically I was I was having Adobe read them to me and then I ran into a couple that it would say uh, blank page blank page it would not read the PDF and come to find out uh, that book was not authored in, in OCR or, or so uh, the support technician said now uh, fast forward a little bit easy PDF reader on my tablet reads those PDFs which I was really surprised. I don't know why it can read them when Adobe will not. Now, another really neat feature about Easy PDF Reader is, you know, it's a tablet. It highlights the paragraph of the text that's reading to you. So I feel like I'm in a class environment kind of where the teacher's reading it to me, and then I'm also I'm reading along. That's nifty. And it also, as a, a book reader, it can crop text down. So if you have an eight-inch tablet, it can it can do these really neat things to to make the uh, text available to you and and you know and allow you to read it as well. Uh, so I actually have some folks that I've passed this on to that now want to load it on their iPhone, load it on their their Galaxy S, and actually you know get their college coursework from their online classes and listen to them while they're commuting to work. So. Um, just you know, throwing some stuff out there for you. That if this is, you know, if you can get past the robotic voice, uh, and then the Easy PDF Reader will let you fast forward and and rewind. So that's really cool. You get to a spot that you, it's got a hyperlink or something. Just skip past it. So you know, this is kind of a good way to consume massive amounts of of content when you would normally just be. You know, working on a support problem or typing up a letter or you know whatever you might be doing. Uh, now you can take advantage of that time or or stuck in traffic and 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 have a computer read to you. So um, that concludes this little session, and I hope you find it uh, useful.